so it's good to see crypto coming back up that's always fun nice and green a lot happened though over yesterday and after after hours so um, I had my position in which it was doing great yesterday uh, last I sold it was at $15 picked up a little more when it dipped was hoping that it'll come back up and I'm pretty sure it still will come back up it was one of the top volumes yesterday same thing with ALF had a nice day with ALF last I sold it was uh, let me see where I did sell it Nineteen ninety. That's almost twenty dollars. Was the last time I sold it, and uh, got back in at nineteen twenty three. Should be, of course, flying. Artificial intelligence stuff has been flying. Uh, Emrin was the most impressive yesterday. Marine software went soaring beyond. You know, once again, and after hours was the the play as usual you know once you see a stock doing this shit that oh after hours it always has this play and then the next morning you're like oh shit i should have held that's when you start holding it you know and then you start seeing that it's it's going to keep doing it and also be aware that after it did this massive jump don't freak out because it's starting to fall a little bit you know that's what we refer to as a healthy pullback where it eventually finds a stability then again, overnight it flies, overnight it flies. It's always this overnight after hours thing with a lot of these stocks. So got to be careful with that. I have my position at 663 with 20 shares. I'm going to continue holding that. It had actually reached $10 yesterday. So I expect this to continue that trend. And Iterum, same thing. You know, great trend yesterday. Sold it at 241. I see it's back to 241 this morning. Might get back into it this morning, uh, depending on how much it comes down. Uh, Iterum Therapeutics, if we look at it real quick, you know they, they've done some work on antimicrobials. So I, I personally said that you know antimicrobials, antibacterials, and stuff like that are not really that significant. We don't really need that anymore. It's not like cancer, basically, right? So um, it's always surprising to me when something like that does decide to take off more. I also grabbed a position in body, which was previously FRX, I believe, and uh, uh, looking pretty good so far. So and this is a slightly longer term hold. I grabbed 120 shares. So that was a majority of my small account investment that I could do. I don't really have much left to work with for today, but I'm going to continue watching what is happening and then grab stuff. DBGI just went off yesterday once again after hours you know it was it was not really doing much until around 240 it did this and then after hours it just kept going you know um, so it's it's at a pretty big peak where it might actually break it's one week high and if it breaks that then you know it'll be a new all-time high so you know it's, it's continuously on it's on its way to doing some epic stuff ever since its IPO you know May 14th so this might be something I try to grab a position in but I'm gonna wait to see what else it does and possibly wait to see if it goes down a little more um, pre-market um, XELA as you just saw you know it took off yesterday literally like it was it was it's always been about a 130 140 kind of a stock now it's sitting at 218 right. uh, let me just see what they've been working on real quick Yeah, so like robotic stuff, you know, th these uh, artificial intelligence, robotics and software, these things are really starting to take off big time lately because on uh, July 13th, there's the virtual investor conference, right? So on my channel right here, I did mention a great day today, which was yesterday. And then uh, things were watching. So we're watching a UUD, which went up 50 percent. Uh, maybe a multi-day runner, MRIN, which was definitely doubled, right? ALF, artificial intelligence, and DBGI. There's the uh, virtual investor conference, July 13th to 15th. So as that day comes closer, we can expect more of these plays to be popping up. So this is one I'll be looking to possibly grab a position in. 
Uh, Greybug did big things yesterday. I don't expect it to do any more. It had its peak and then it came back down. Um, still going to keep an eye on it just to see. This here we're looking at AUUD, which is on a very nice uptrend. What it's going to do this morning is, is still in the air. I feel like AUUD and DBGI are both things I might want to grab a position in. You know, this is pointing up right now, but at any second, you know, things can trigger and sell. Also remember that when a lot of people have limit orders placed, that as soon as the market opens, they often send, you know, send those limit orders into place and things sink. Like yesterday, ALF was pretty weird. As soon as the market opened, it broke 21. And then all those $21 limit sales must have gone through and it never hit 21 again. Yeah, so, <clears throat> I mean, if I had a limit order placed to sell at 21 also at that exact moment, I would have been done with ALF right there. You know, and then I would have got a position again, but that didn't happen. I got to sell it at 1990 at some point. Um, and I'm going to hold this position and get rid of that pretty soon too. AMC, as usual, your money printing machine, you know, came back up yesterday, as you can see. Yeah, so pretty pretty uh, good buy anytime it's under 55 whenever it's under 55 bucks you grab a position in there you relax you have a good time it'll come back up close to 60 and then you sell it if I had enough money available I would have sold it at 60 again you know I've sold it at 60 a couple of times so far and that's just that's just what it does for you um, looking forward to so yesterday I was able to unload my ACST position Penny stock, right? I was able to sell it after buying it at fifty six cents. I was able to sell all three dollars shares at sixty cents. So that was that was pretty good, but not what I had uh, hoped for. Uh, Advaxis still waiting. You know, th this at any day it can get some really crazy good cancer immunotherapy related um, news and just uh, possible. Well, I'd be happy if it doubled, but possibly even triple or quadruple. So I'm more than happy holding my position here. Uh, it's gone down three cents. If at some point something takes off and I make a lot more, I might try to grab 10,000 more shares at this newer low. Um, Regulus needs to gap up. Uh, I look forward to getting this sold off as soon as it breaks 118. Same thing here, very close to becoming positive now. So I'm going to get rid of that too. Dare has been so EVFM and Dare are somewhere in the same position of women's reproductive health. EVFM has something called Fexi, which is for reproductive health and birth control. Dare Sciences more so has topical sildenafil, um, and basically both of them are you know simultaneously kind of going up. And Dare is, is has been making much bigger breaks lately than the EVFM has. Uh, I was actually watching it this day. This is the day I first heard about it. And all day is sat around 148 until all of a sudden it took off. Like owning 10,000 shares of this at that point would have been a massive gain, rather than owning 10,000 of this. But um, you know, I look forward to this taking off. And that's basically it for now. So now we're gonna have to see what I wanna what I wanna do because I have some positions and things that I need to get rid of. But uh, I mean, if they're gonna keep going up, then I'm good. It's also nice to see that crypto is on a very nice green trend as well. So that's making the profile look nice in general. So I have 300 Litecoin, 10,000 value coin, MRIN, and body. So body is a slightly long term hold. I'll be, I'll be happy with my 120 shares. I'm, in, I'm not sure where I'm looking to sell this today, but uh, you know, I, I had a good time yesterday. Let me see you one more time. I sold at 617 after which it kept going up. Okay, and where did I initially buy it? 540. Yeah, so yesterday it did double, it was almost 10 something uh, post market, and then it came back down a little bit. So it feels good that I already have my position in here. I don't have to worry about grabbing any of this, but if I did have to grab, I would probably pick it up right now. 
um, probably set a limit order of like 11 because I'm sure as the market open moment comes this is gonna be one of the top few volumes on our on our little uh, trending stock website right here stock wave but yesterday as you can see this is the still frame from yesterday finishing Emrin had the highest volume followed by wish then neo you know so there's there's a lot happening and Emrin basically reached a new 52 week high uh, wish least reached, uh, reached a two month high so there's a lot happening for all the union palantir had a lot of action and uh, near the end of the day AUD picked up a lot of volume as well you know, so um definitely worth keeping an eye on the same group of guys nicola by the way also was very impressive yesterday out of nowhere randomly meme stock kind of moment look at that it's at 19 dollars right so this started the day before after hours pre-market and then now it's sitting up here very high a stock that is obviously not worth nineteen dollars. All the electric vehicle stocks took off yesterday too, and we can see work workhorse was another one of our watches yesterday with wish. Workhorse and wish tend to often kind of sort of go together. So you see this is really flying, and even this morning, still flying. Right? So one of those really good investments ever since it's been mentioned. Right? But uh, it was it was definitely a little more expensive than what I wanted to invest into. So this is one of those stocks that I've mostly just sat back and watched. And it's 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 good if you have a position in this. Great stuff. It is literally taking off. It looks like it will hit eighteen pretty soon which it has already probably hit at some point. If you don't have a position in workhorse already, you know, then it's, it's a slightly risky moment to grab it right now. As you can see, it's rapidly already gone up more than 50 cents. Um, I would wait for a pullback. Or pH that's insane so this guy is showing drama again overnight I didn't even catch that yeah it was at 730 yesterday so anyone that picked up a position at closing now no one in their right mind really would pick up a closing position last night on this because why would you do that it's on a downtrend it's always been on a downtrend lately right and then this morning is just up a dollar this at 8.6 yeah I had I had trouble selling at even 8.26 last time see th this this stock is a scary one because after what it's done this day where it uh, literally just took off to infinity you know, right here it was it went up to like $70 I figured it had news on it. I wasn't sure if it just took off. Let me see. Let me see what the news is then. If it has news, then it probably won't have much difficulty growing. Okay. Yeah, 
I mean, a lot of people are affected by Neiman Pig disease. It's very problematic. Uh, lysosomal storage disorder, but uh, <sighs> slowing progression isn't exactly treating it per se. Okay, so, um, and this is good. What do you mean by previously calculated at? So you need the p-value to be less than 0 0.05, which this, this is good. This is not. In biostatistics, when the p-value, and you know, anytime you guys are ever reading any of these um, clinical research things, when the p-value is not less than 0 0.05, what that tells you is that there's a chance so if the p-value is more than 0 0.05 there's a chance that the data was that was collected was purely by chance that it wasn't actual relevant clinically significant data but it was just by chance so that's that's kind of what you're what you're seeing there um, but they're saying that it's it's been recalculated to be less than 0 0.05 so okay if it has news and it's already jumped a tiny 18 percent uh, it's possible I mean well I'm not investing too much so let me see I'll just grab a little a little position with 20 stocks and see what happens Is this a couple of people talking about this let's see what they did not that I would have funding to invest into it but maybe some of you do schizophrenia wow positive results for CVL 231 in phase 1b clinical trial in patients with schizophrenia so this would be actually really really nice this this is going to go on my list because schizophrenia is not one we have a you know anything new to treat it with nor is there a cure um mostly treated with antipsychotics typical or atypical antipsychotics but they're both really just there to kind of sort of help bring the patient to baseline as much as possible seeing good p-values here right less than 0 0.05 uh, and this would be an excellent moment to enter because it's in phase 1b which means you'll have big gains again when it enters phase 2 when it gives phase 2 results when it enters phase 3 and so on and so on you know and in between any other big news that they, they decide to publish uh, will also cause them to to go up so I would have to look more into the medication and what it is they're trying to do what this CVL 231 is because there's going to be a lot in this article here so I'll come back to it later but this is good however I wouldn't grab it at this price this is not the price I would grab it at you would want to grab any stock that's boomed you want to wait till they come back because you obviously missed the boom and you accept it you wait till it comes back to its baseline which you can see generally speaking is this right this is this baseline not the twenty dollar area when the market opens anyone who was a big investor in this especially big companies that were big investors in this are going to offload and take their hundreds and thousands of dollars in profits possibly even even min millions of dollars in profits you know if any any company that invested into them at an earlier phase and this is actually a pretty new thing too october 2020 wow nice good for them so they, they've clearly 
got these bumps because they've been doing a lot of things so I would wait for it to come back to somewhere under 15 14 and grab a position in it so I'm gonna make a note of that these are these are all you know notes that I have for like big uh, pharma related companies that have boomed from really amazing uh, research progress and the goal is to wait until they come back to a better entry price uh, so I'm gonna write down that I want to enter this at like under 13 yeah right yeah there's a lot of there, there are too many pharma stocks and that's that's so much fun that is very fun like MNMD is one I've spoken about a long time ago as well that's actually on a pretty nice positive trend right now but this is nothing compared to the boom it'll have if it finally comes up with a really good psychedelic medication for dealing with all kinds of psychedelic issues which of course the world is flooded with especially during this pandemic you know, loneliness and sorrow and all that stuff adding up so that's pretty nice I'm gonna keep an eye on this to see what it actually does today because what it does today will be a good uh, position to see of what it will do next time it booms and it covers a nice span of things right so it's also in Parkinson's which we've followed in other in other uh, pharma stocks like AVNS and BTX which also work on neurological deficit stocks so you know pretty pretty impressive stuff there uh, ORPH kind of fluctuating around the 8.5 area still need to offload my LKCO too I'm not sure when it'll ever come back up to over three dollars but uh, I don't really mind holding this is not holding too much of my cash anyway I have a limit sell place for 320 if it ever makes it I might end up canceling that later though this thing was kind of rebounding around yesterday you know, it, it, multiple times it, like you can see how you know this was the first time where I joined it came up I sold it came down then came back up to the same price again but I didn't have money to join did it one more time today it's falling harder but it has good support it hasn't made it back to its usual forty dollar point but again until they start you know a lot of these stocks of, of course I'm sure there's regulation around it they, they're very shy on publishing news right so you need news you need actual publications you need actual progress to show for things to actually cause change you know ca cause more booms Could average this down a little more. Last I bought it was at 1873. How much more do I have funding for? Like five. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'll just wait. All time high. Keep going. I'm hoping this is gonna like continue blowing up very happy to hear this news very happy for this progress that's great we need some of that schizo medication especially in New York EVFM being an idiot stop being an idiot let's break what did it need to break last time it broke 130 yeah I, I'd happily sell at 130 uh, just to have all this available again so I can put it in other other stocks um, yeah, Dare Dare has hit I believe 175 and come back down at times. So as that Wish is at a good entry price right now. If any of you are looking to enter, should I keep Wish? Oh, yeah, I just read what you said, Ali. Should I keep Wish? But I 14. Also, what's your take on Regulus? So, okay, great questions. Uh, let me see if I can find it. So I have a group chat with a couple friends about Regulus. And one of them shared this. So if you look at... So this is in our group chat. So if you look at what's happening with Regulus in general, this is basically a gap that needs to fill on its way back up. So you see the between the two dashed lines. So if it breaks that, that gap fill should not be too difficult. 
although it will be possibly painstakingly slow. I'm already in, and as you can see, I'm in at a pretty high average. I was actually in at an even higher average because I had anticipated at that time that it was possible it would keep going to five, possibly six. You know, it was a, it was one of these. Yeah, it was like around one of these days. You see how it was going crazy here? All right, so um, I bought in again at 110, tried to average down, but then because of FUD and you know all that fear and all that stuff from some lack of actual um, action here, people sold, right? Panic selling occurred and all that, and then it just dipped. But now it's at an amazing price. Like the way you need to think about a stock that you already bought that sank is that would you buy it at this price? My answer is hell yeah. So I'm obviously not going to sell at this price. Um, if I had more funding, I would definitely pick up a shit ton more and averages is down. Maybe pick up 10,000 more and averages is down to right in between 86 and 118, which will probably just bring it down to like a dollar and two cents or something. Uh, in the long run, though, this should definitely definitely uh, come back up to a dollar this week. So this is just a long position I'll be swinging and I'm just going to chill with it. As for wish, definitely keep. Yes, I'm in at 1443. So. You know, there, there's nothing wrong with it. This this stock is massive chatter all over the internet. Um, a lot of a lot of following on it. So, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna sell and then just miss out because it is gonna boom. I wish and anything artificial intelligence related like ALF. Right? ALF is an everyday boom as well. Every single day, it's gonna boom, without a doubt. So, you just sit back and watch that. Emrin, I'm already in, so I'm looking forward to what happens. We have two more minutes until the market opens. So far, most things are looking pretty nice and green. Most things I at least have a position in. You know, this is looking nice and ripe to buy. Not, not green right now, but remember, red just means an indication to, to buy that shit. Uh, DBGI doing its thing already. All right, so you can see it's, it's at any time today. You can buy this at any point you want to. This is a good time to buy it as well. It should be um, breaking seven today without without any hesitation. And this should be breaking eight today without any hesitation. And if only I had uh, funding available, I would go ahead and make the purchases right here. So uh, let me see how much can I pick up. I'll pick it up right before we have one minute until it opens. I'm gonna keep an eye on this guy because this guy has been flying. But today could be the day it does this. You know, if if, if it hits support, I mean, if it hits re resistance right here again at this 680 point, um, it, it, it could sink back down. So yeah, you gotta keep an eye on that. One more minute until the market opens. One more minute until a lot of people sell orders or buy orders go through. And then we get to see what's gonna happen. Well, all in all, things are looking nice, right? This is pretty, pretty green thanks to Litecoin doing its beautiful thing. Actually, let me open my uh, let me open my crypto tabs. All right, so we got this looking nice. Approaching my average, I averaged down multiple times because I I bought in at a point where I had thought this is it, that's the bottom. Now it's gonna come back up. I bought more and more later on as it kept sinking, but then I didn't have any more to buy with. So it's I'm not too far from hitting this average and becoming very green very, very quickly. I look forward to that. So yeah, same thing here. 32 cents. I'm not too far. Very quickly going to be green on crypto, which would put me back in my nice 100,000 range finally. RSLS did big shit yesterday. But hold on, let me just see what's happening with some of these things that we've picked a position in right now. Not that I have anything massive in any of them. Now, keep in mind that even though things sink, you know, and, and we learned the harder way, that even though things sink right after opening sometimes, by 12 and by 1 or 2 p.m., they all tend to come right back up, right? And it's good that I get busy from, like, I, I teach medicine from home on a remote program I have. So I have a remote tutoring program I do. And that class I hold every day from like 11 to 1 p.m. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So I get real busy. And then as soon as I come out of that and I'm done teaching, 
I see that all these things I was kind of sort of stressing about are kind of flying. So it looks like a lot of the people who uh, had limit orders placed to sell at six are finally filling in, but it should pick up hype. We're gonna check our our stock thing real quick. Let me just look at RSLS as well from yesterday. Reshape Life Sciences. This oh wow, it just sank way back down to six. That's crazy. This this but see now it's at a buy price right so this is the price where you would actually buy this at it's back to the baseline it was at before very weird though i didn't think this was what it was going to do overnight that's insane that's sad news that's very sad news for anyone that was holding it from yesterday and didn't sell it ouch all right let me see uh let's see if this updates for today Oh yeah, it did. It's already loaded. So XCLA and Workhorse are at the top of the top. Wow. XCLA and Workhorse. Well, Workhorse was expected. We already saw how it was doing crazy in the, in the opening. Um, Marathon and Riot Blockchain, of course. With crypto going green, everyone picks this up. Remember, whenever crypto starts going green, a lot of stocks all together all those blockchain related stocks they all start going green uh, which includes one of the newer ones that i just picked up hut you know hut is coming back up today too as you can see big boom all right uh, of course mara riot all of these guys should be looking very nice and green because crypto is coming back up right? and that's that's the beauty of it like you can if you're in crypto you know that as soon as your crypto is going green, you should pick up a bunch of these things. I didn't because I didn't have money to. And that as crypto approaches 70K, Bitcoin, that Marathon also approaches $70, right? So that's kind of what they do. It's 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 freaking awesome because you can pick up both things and just kick back. Or you can call, you can do a lot of option calls, you know, confidently make option calls on Riot and Mara and all these others just because you know crypto is on a very good green trend and then your uh, your option calls get filled very nicely so this looks like with this super high volume it's going to continue going maybe possibly go to like 250 where's my trend thing uh marine software up here still Bank of America is pretty random volume. Uh, EVFM is showing up. That's good to see. That is very good to see. Hopefully, some people are going to see this here and make some big investments, help it get back to my 124 breaking point. Let's take a look at what's happening. Wish is coming back down under 14. Okay. ALF also sinking. So everyone's coming down to some new buy prices. EVFM very close to becoming green. Go, go, go. Regular sinking. This guy also going up. Everyone's everywhere. People are all over the place. Wow. Pretty weird morning. Okay, or, or pH is plus for me. DBGI, we're waiting. Didn't grab a position here. But now that it's done this, this might be worth grabbing position in at this price. If you're interested. Gray bug is done, so I'm gonna close that. I wish I had more funding available. I wish these my RGLS and EVFM, I wish they were done being green so I could offload the money there. Because I would have totally picked this up at this 32, 34 range. Um, because I've been seeing how over the last two to three days crypto has been on a very green trend so it was very obvious vtrn that rings a bell well, who was vtrn oh no i haven't seen vtrn before i don't think you meant vtrn okay i know who you're talking about uh, no not that either vtnr there you go yeah I knew it rang a bell. Vertex. I don't play with Vertex anymore because uh, my heart kind of broke after seeing everything I missed about it. But yeah, energy stocks and these guys have been crazy booming. Like I remember literally sitting here looking at this when it was actually a 
you know, just two dollar stock, and I was just like, this. Why would this boom? Right? Why would this boom? And then it, look at it today. So I've missed that, and I do not plan to get back into it. So I think today's goals are going to be to, you know, sell Marine at some point, possibly around ten, maybe more. I look forward to this being above ten. Um, I'm going to hold my uh, position in body for a little longer. Stop loss on this would be like twelve fifty, if anything. Uh, space is pointing back up again. DBGI coming back up. Yeah, this shouldn't be shouldn't be a bad day. I think it's going to be a pretty nice green day. I look forward to all that. Neo is back on on the trending again too. Right, Neo, all electric vehicle stocks went up. Even even my bad position in charge point went up yesterday. So this is nice Neo back at 50. Last I sold Neo, I sold it at 53. Um, had I known there was going to be chatter about it, I would have picked it up again at 45. But um, I didn't have money to do that anyway, so it's all good. Let me see. So if Neo is going up, is my bad position in charge point becoming better today too? It is. It is. My entry on charge point is shit. But I picked it up just like that because I thought it was going to keep going up. It did not. But like a good trader, I just held it because there's nothing else you can do. Do not sell at a loss when you know it's going to come back up one day. And I think I just did this yesterday. Yeah, I just submitted this yesterday. A sell order to sell it at 45. Um, not exactly the best idea if it makes it back to 43 again it would probably boom way past that like last time you know but uh okay i see why i put 45 maybe it'll meet resistance there again uh, 45 might be tricky then but we'll see we'll see if it even breaks 40 i'll keep an eye on that so what's happening today Marine is green, body is still green, DBGI not so much. Torch is just sucking ass. Like ever since Torch became M Mat yesterday, it's just been down. Like a loser. I don't know what it's ever gonna do. I haven't heard any new news on what Torch, which is now Meta Materials, is supposed to do. This might be something that just has to go like it put me at an average cost of 1571 after the changes, after the uh, torch becoming MMAT. And it did the 1 to 2 split. And of course, the price is shitty. My entry cost here is shitty. I think most people that got pushed into this were not very happy. I mean, I'm glad I didn't have a massive position in it, but still, I'm working with a smaller account lately with all the money put in crypto. So, not very happy to see what's happening here. Um, not sure if it's ever really going to be back to its IPO price or anything like that. Better materials. And I can't even imagine, I wouldn't know what they would have to do to actually boom again. You know, acquisition. Oil. I, I'm not really well aware of this niche but uh, might be worth just watching i guess i don't really need to pull my money out of that in the red i think the most exciting thing for me today is this to see this finally become green and offload so i can have money uh, to spend in places i'm confident this is going to go back up later so i'm okay with that I'm also confident. Well, actually, I'm not too confident on this one, but uh, I'm hopeful. I'm going to keep that position. Not a big deal. Mm, okay. This is high. This is crazy volume on this shit for no... Wow. It's not really shifting too much yet, but... I'm guessing at any moment maybe it can blow up. Any moment. 
Apple had high volume almost every day for the past few days. So that's pretty nice. Riot, Mara, SOS, all three crypto related stocks going up. Since crypto is going up, Coinbase. Well, this is this is where all the hype is, right? You don't really need any anyone to tell you where the hype is. You find it all right here, and then you invest as you want. And, and XCLA, you can clearly see, is the hype. So of course, it will keep going up, and it is. It's doing good. It is. It just broke 250, and it's doing good. As for the rest, I'm going to keep watching and sell whenever. I'll probably submit a limit order for DBGI to sell it at um, if it comes back to where it was, I guess. So maybe at seven, I, I'd like to get rid of this. Um, but we're going to keep watching and see what it does. And that's about it. So thanks a lot for joining. I'll keep updating the uh, video title as well as the Discord as we make gains and losses. And then good luck to everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.